so we are back. We got our next interview of the evening, and I, I know we don't have a lot of time, I know, but it's okay. You know, Quick it's it's speak. a rare thing that we get to to get a, an R and B singer in the building. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or an R and B, you know, what I mean? or an R and B star. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> I know, bitch. <laughs> so we got um, Sirachi in the building. Yes. You know yes, I mean? you said it right. Hey, so yes. Hey. Um, and you know, we, she she brought Angel. guests with her, Angel. You know what I mean? He got the he got the sauced up fur going on. You Sauce. know what I'm saying? And we and got Rolexy, and Rolexy in the building as well, looking lovely. You know what I'm saying? And and the lovely Sriracha in the building. You know what I'm saying? So Sriracha. Sriracha. You can call me Sriracha. I'm yeah, down for it. No. So so um like we have um this collective called like forward the forward movement and mm-hmm. it's basically just like a whole bunch of like creatives that come together who just preach positive vibes and positive energy through like music and like creative shit you know yes dope, 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 dope. yeah how did you hook up with mtm like johnny and them and, and oh through and gavin one, shepherd uh, and, uh, shout out to ah. my homeboy <laughs> okay bravo in the corner yes yeah, yo. so you're signed to one public on public records, or yeah. on public yeah we have okay. a deal and universal okay so how do you hook up with gavin then um i just like sent him my music like i was just like grinding we were grinding for a long time uh-huh. and i just literally sent him my music and he was like hey let's hook up i'm like yes okay 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 yeah. so you didn't go through the remix project and no stuff. i didn't everyone always asks me but i, I didn't okay okay so when you say gavin you just automatically assume it's trust a me yeah mm-hmm. it's a remix thing yeah. yeah yeah but no not through the remix project unfortunately quick question yeah you have your track 21 right i'll be the one telling you all the rules i'll be the one that will cook you all the best food but i'll be getting on my nerves getting on my nerves okay and you say um i'm the one that cooked the best food Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. What's, your, what's your cook game like? <laughs> oh, you should ask him. I'm actually really good. You know what? I've just been so busy lately. I haven't. <laughs> yes, I haven't. I've been so busy lately. I haven't cooked much, but like, I can do a little some, some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I like right now, as of right now, because like music's like taking off and like we've been so busy, I, I've been eating like a lot of really bad food, mm. but like I can cook really good. Like, I could cook really really good what's, okay. what's your favorite listen i'm cook? really good at just like i'm really good at making curry because i'm half indian right okay. so like like but like half east indian from india yeah. so yeah. like i grew up eating just a lot of like curry <laughs> like okay. the typical t- curry and like um what's what's the thing that my that my grandma gets what is that thing called biryani biryani okay. i can make all that shit but i love curry chicken i'm really really good at seasoning chicken and cleaning chicken mm, you have to clean the chicken See, no i go in that's an asset. i go that's in an asset. them you hear what you said i am good at seasoning and cleaning chicken yo yo you ever you ever go and eat chicken seasoning and no, cleaning listen, chicken you ever go and you ever go and you eat someone's chicken oh. and like you know the smell of raw chicken you yeah. ever taste it when you're eating i hate that that no, shit. no, that's no, I, I haven't. I, oh, I, I yep. taste it a little bit and then I go in the garbage. No, it's gross. I <laughs> that's can't. Right. That's I can't. Right. Like, I'm so, I can't. It's that's nasty. Right. That's right. And, like, I have to clean chicken really, really, really yeah. well. She says she seasons and cleans chicken very well. That's like Very well, yeah. Hey, very, very, very that, well. You, you keep your material. Um, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> growing up, what end, you, what end did you grow up in? I grew up like Don Mills and Eglinton. So, like, okay. East, but not Scarborough. Like Flemo. Flemo, yeah. But like around that area. Okay, yeah. okay. And what was life well, like? Like, yeah, It was yeah. like I was um secluded and my mom never let me go outside. So uh. like I got picked up and dropped to school every day. Like I took the bus for the first te- first time when I was like fifteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Princess, are you wow. stupid? Yes. Wow. So yeah, like I was really just inside a majority of the time. Mm. Like I didn't really like I just did music. I've always did done music since I was a kid. I used to force my friends to write songs with me. Okay. Like force like force them. They were they were in the music thing like that. No, 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 no. Like they would call me and I'd we'd be on the phone for like three hours and I'd be writing a song and I'd for like dead ass force them to do it with me. Uh. <laughs> I was so annoying, they probably fucking hated me. <laughs> holy, holy. So then like Okay, even with the whole R and B thing, right? Because mm-hmm. you sang. Yeah, you, I sang. Right, right? like you she don't have it for since she was a kid. So. Yeah, yeah. You don't have like a bunch of auto tune wetting up mm-hmm. your voice and all that. No, so I don't how like do it. you get your music through to the people with all this? 
I regular f- shit that's going I on. I feel like just the lane that I'm trying to go in is a different lane from like the urban crowd. Like just based on the shows that I've performed at already, the urban crowd doesn't get much of like, I don't get much of a, like a big response from the urban crowd as opposed to like the little white kids, you know? Dope. Like that's basically the crowd I'm trying to tackle. Like through my music and through like I just released a song sometimes two days ago or three days ago. Uh-huh. And um, it's super vulnerable, super like soulful and i have a lot of music to follow back on that and i feel like in my music i try to keep it as like raw and as authentic as possible because okay. you don't hear that shit nowadays people are just talking a whole bunch of bullshit in their music i tried to keep it super super real you know yeah, and yeah bullshit. yeah I'm, I'm over it i feel like a lot of people's music don't have any real substance not here for it like yeah. i feel like I'm, I'm not here for it i feel like just even with my team i feel like we really try to focus on making and putting out good real material yeah. real show, like you say you have, you have a show performance tonight yeah so in, on the stage like what 30 can minutes. they expect from you on stage um well today um it's just gonna be an r&b night so i'm gonna be performing the song i just dropped along with a whole bunch of unreleased stuff mm-hmm. super acoustics um yeah, that's what that's what we're doing. That's why I'm not trying to smoke. I smoke, but like I'm not trying to smoke. Yeah, we don't want to read the voice for the yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to have any 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 crackling business. That's beat. <laughs> that's yeah, so lemon plug. water for you or something. I, yeah, yeah, I know I should be drinking lemon water, but I'm not. <laughs> we know you got limited time. Yeah, I know. However, there's just a couple more questions. Yeah. I want to know. With your writing, you you write, right? Yeah, of course. Do you write for other people as well? You know, I'm I'm tr- I want to like I I haven't written for anybody else, uh-huh. but I would love to in the future. I think I'm a really good songwriter. Okay, so now here's it brings me to another question. You write a banger, okay? Yeah. You're like, oh man, I love this song, and then I don't know Rihanna and their their camp hears it and they're like, yo, send us that. We want that. Yo, Are that shit it? is that. Sh- <laughs> you see. <laughs> I feel like I'd probably discuss it with my team and they'd definitely be like, you have to fucking send it. Send that. Like, <laughs> you have to send it. But, like, it's it's hard. Like, I had, like, um, meetings with, like, like people from different record labels and, yeah. like, they'd, like, hear some of my songs. And, like, we have this song called um, Sativa Dominant. Okay. And it's, I really, really, really love that song. And I'm like, okay, let's pitch it. Let's pitch it. So I pitched it and I seen them fucking with it and I was like, no. See, that's what I was going to ask you. How how would you feel? No, I'm like, else? yo, I was pissed. Like, like at the back of my head, I'm like, okay, I, I'm glad they like it, but I love this song. You know, hey. it's hard to, to let go, but hey, what it's a baby, the bag, you know, uh, okay. if, if, the, if, the, if the check is there, That's you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> and that, that, that song keeps on playing over and over yeah, and over I know. again. That's I know. And I, just, and I also every feel time. like it's good. It's yeah. good just for like cloud, I think like, and like people like, yo, you wrote that song. Like, are you dumb? Yeah. You know? So, I mean, I would do it. It's just, it's hard. As an artist, I just feel us artists, we really hold on to our our work. Mm-hmm. You know, even him as a producer, he has so many fucking beats, like maybe 500 beats. Oh, Dead man. ass. Like 500 beats. And like, I feel like he holds on to so, like so many of them, but like, I can't blame him. Well, probably, you probably even got, you, you probably don't even get into the real vault of the fucking, the real vault. I've heard. Ma- that I've, extra? 300 beats that you think he's only got 500 i got about 800 to talk <laughs> you know yo he has so many be- i think i've heard all of them though i i think i've heard all of them okay <laughs> um <laughs> last couple questions yeah as a woman in this industry okay it's fucking hard <laughs> right it's hard True, right mm-hmm. which answers one question yeah now it's hard to get taken seriously. Right. I just had a rant about that, actually. Right? I had a huge rant about that. It's so hard to be, be taken seriously in this industry. You ever get caught into a Me Too situation or a hashtag Me Too situation? What do you mean? Like, so the hashtag Me Too movement or the hashtag Time's Up movement yeah. is basically where like people like Harvey Weinstein and those guys got outed because they were putting women in positions like, hey, if you don't have sex with me, then I'm not going to give you the role. Using their power. You know what get. I mean? Wielding their power um, to take advantage of women, basically. Yeah, I, I've personally never got into into that situation yet okay. i i'm very like especially with dealing with men i'm very hard body i, I try to be hard body mm-hmm. and like i i let them know right then and there don't 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 fuck with me yo yeah, i'm not yeah. i'm not taking for a joke don't take me for a fucking joke okay, mm-hmm. okay, 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 don't okay. take me for a joke nigga okay. <laughs> hey 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 don't be pulling up on sriracha be trying no to yeah like i'm not here for it but like i'm i'm sure that in this industry like i'm only 22 so yeah, i'm yeah. sure in these many 
com- upcoming years in this industry, I'm probably gonna have an experience like that. Yeah. God forbid. Let's hope not. But like yes, being not. being realistic, I'm probably gonna have an experience like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 and that's yeah. whack. There's hashtag me too and hashtag stay woke. You yep, stay woke, y'all. Um, what do you want to do outside of music? Um, I like af like music is my baby, right? So like after I make like a bigger name for myself, I just want to like invest in shit. I have like we have like a whole plan of like shit we want to do. Mm-hmm. Like like I want to have like a curly hair product. Dope. I want to have my own alcohol, but not my own alcohol brand. I don't want to have my own brand. I want to have my own formula, like yeah, you know, like yeah, a vodka yeah. or like a cognac. I don't want to have a brand. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like that's tequila. Yeah, like a tequila. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to have like a drink, Dope. like like Dope. how like Ciroc is vodka, right? And like, um, what's hen- what's the Drake's one? Um, Virginia Black. What is Virginia that? Cognac. Black. I think it's a whiskey. Oh, it's a whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I want to yeah. have the the substance that that's in other drinks. Okay. So that's my goal. Is like I have I'm, like I have obviously I want like invest in property and shit and. I'm a businesswoman, yo. Who knows what my mind, yeah, my low yeah, mind yeah. will will come up with in the next couple of years. Man, I, I got so many questions for you, but I, yeah, I, I, I know. Oh my goodness, we need a we need a reschedule like a longer. And we got we got other platforms. We might have you on the six views. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, get the dice it up again. This. You know what I'm saying? Let's um, do this. Last question though, yeah. what do you have coming up next? So, um, like I said, I just dropped um, my song sometimes mm-hmm. um, with Universal mm-hmm. and Public Records. Um, we just shot like a crazy mm-hmm. fucking video in Vancouver. Like these guys that we shot the video for, they work in film. Like they shot like Fifty Shades of Grey. What else? Oh. Wow. Deadpool, oh, okay. Riverdale. Riverdale. So like we shot like a fucking movie, and like the the director was amazing. He worked so well with me to get my vision across, and like this video and this song, this whole this whole thing that we're doing with this song is just like literally all me. Mm-hmm. And like the nice. idea and like the message that I got behind the video is is crazy. Like it's it's ridiculous. Like Dope. you have to stay tuned. And, like. It's crazy. Dope, dope. We did some like underwater scenes. Like, oh shit! Oh my god, oh, wow. it was so cold. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's gonna be crazy. Like, I'm really excited for it. Dope, 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 yeah. dope, dope. 